All right, so Keith, I'm Mia. Chad, what did you think? Well, it's going to really be discussing the rest of this summer. We're all going to be singing Amma Mia, Amma Mia, <laughs> Amma Mia. But you know, there's a famous song that Le Ahu Isa did to Guantanamero. Mm -hmm. Le Ahu Isa, and it's, it's an earworm. It gets in your... But it's all about branding. And the thing Keith has to do, and the poll numbers reflect that, because he's been running for over a year now. He's really been a professional mayoral candidate, is they don't know his name. They know Mufi Hanneman's name. They know his first name. They knew Colleen Hanabusa and Kim Pine to a lesser degree. But I think this is all about branding. My only comment is, why didn't you go with the Queen song? <laughs> right? <laughs> Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. <laughs> Beelzebub. Okay, you can just cut the rest of that one. You know? <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind when I thought of Mamma Mia. <laughs> well, the fact that he even has a campaign to redo the words, I mean, that's yeah. uh, there's a serious issue here that he is heavily funded. Correct. And to have someone even do a song like yeah. that. Uh, Colin, what did you think about Keith? Uh, overall, I thought it was a very polished performance. I was a little surprised that he couldn't answer my, what I think of as a pretty easy question, what have you changed your mind about? And I, and I found that a little bit troubling because that question is designed to get at how deeply you've really considered policy issues or even just the ability to admit that you were wrong in the past and, and you've and changed. And it's not only politics. It could no, be it could it's anything. A, it could have been a personal, uh, a personal um, position as well, but I think we want candidates who are willing to, to grow and, and admit mistakes. and. Um, and, and so I think that, that perhaps was a little bit disappointing. I mean, again, he does show this kind of amateur politician's tendency to say, everything will be OK when I get in there. These other folks just can't get along, but I'm reasonable. Um, and you know, we, we pushed him on that a little bit. And I don't think he was, he, was, he, he really showed, in, in some of those cases, that he had the kind of depth of experience to, to tackle some of these issues. He's been studying the mm -hmm. issues, clearly. Stuart, yeah. what do you think? Uh, I thought he, he, he had thought a lot about housing and homelessness uh, and seemed to have some pretty uh, detailed ideas about, about that. Again, especially about uh, things we've heard, building infrastructure in the urban uh, core and ex allowing greater density. Again, this is easier said than done, but he's clearly thought about it. and. Um, and that's, that was positive. Right, the, the housing seems to be one of his passion points. What did you think, Christina? He didn't quite seem to want to answer my question about sweeps. No. Which, <laughs> it's a controversial practice. Um, I guess he wants to keep his options open, but I thought that was interesting. You know, I think that what, what you just said, what it answers to Colin's question, I think it was very revealing, even the Mamma Mia question, very revealing of his path to what he's trying to do with his campaign. One. I am a liberal Democrat. Mm -hmm. That makes him different from everybody mm -hmm. else, other major candidates in the race. He's got the union endorsements. It's lined up with that. He's not going to say, I want to sweep the homeless, because liberal Democrats are generally more soft-hearted on that issue. Um, so I think that you could really see, I need to get my name out there, and I need people to know who I am and where I am, and I, this is my lane. And actually, his lane is the lane of most voters in this city. And surprisingly uncrowded um, in this field. I mean, he's clearly the, the most liberal person running. Um, no one is competing for that position. And he has a big campaign organization behind mm -hmm. him. All right, voters have a very tough choice ahead of them. We'll see.